three Honolulu police officers under investigation for a game room beating no longer receiving paychecks. But as a police officer, it hurts. As a union official, it hurts. And I feel for these officers. Exclusive at 6, we've learned the Honolulu police officer who attacked a man in a Honolulu game room is suspended without pay. And in a sign of how serious this case is, two other officers are off the job as well. Lynn Kawano has new reaction only on Hawaii News Now. A rare and bold move by the Honolulu Police Department. All three officers who went into a game room near Ala Moana no longer receiving paychecks from the city. It's not surprising that Honolulu police officer Vincent Moore is on leave. He's shown on surveillance video kicking and throwing a chair at a man inside a Honolulu game room. But it is unusual for the department to put an officer on unpaid leave. It doesn't happen often. If they feel within their purview and their rights that the evidence of the complaint or allegations are legitimate and sufficient to affect such a, an action or disciplinary action of leave without pay, then that's within, well within their purview. And he's not the only one. Police sources say the two other officers who were at the game room that day are now also without police powers for not stopping the attack. Joe Becerra, a longtime reserve officer and repeat winner of the Reserve Officer of the Year Award, was forced to resign. And Nelson Tamayori has had his police powers removed and is also on unpaid leave. All three were part of the Crime Reduction Unit, or CREW. They went to the game room near Ala Moana last month to serve an arrest warrant. They didn't find the person they were looking for. Instead, the man sitting on the bar stool walked out with a broken bone in his hand and needing staples in his head. The man waited outside the game room for the ambulance, and sources say he told paramedics that he was beaten by the cops. The FBI is investigating for possible civil rights violations. If the FBI steps in to do the investigation, it's normally because the the act or the offense is very egregious, very severe, and it uh, necessitates their um, intervention. Anyone that was involved in that incident, that did nothing to report it, that chose not to report it until someone put it in their face, they don't deserve to have a gun and a badge. The suspensions are indefinite until the FBI completes their investigation. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.